All right, so I'm gonna ask you to bear with me. My cat is a jerk and she loves to be anywhere I'm at, so we'll just slide her out of the way. So I just got this today. I'm super excited. I have waited a very long time for this. Uh, this is Human Interface. Here, I'll start off by bringing out all the boxes. So, human interface. Thank you for having your tail in the way, Tofu. Uh, this is a miniature slash tabletop game. Uh, it was a Kickstarter I funded two and a half years ago. So it's been a little while. Uh, they gave me updates like almost every week, so I was confident that I was gonna come out, but I'll admit it took a little longer than I thought. Um, I went ahead and looked at everything just to see if everything I ordered was there. I actually am missing one piece. I don't wanna hold it too far against them. Uh, I'll contact them later, I guess, and see if they can help me out. I'm not sure. So, I guess we'll start with the... We'll start with this, I guess. This is the smallest thing. So, this is just an additional thing I purchased. And it's basically like a big robot, very similar to like the Ghost in the Shell Max. Uh, so, it is 100% metal. I can't tell if this is focusing or not. If it isn't, I apologize. There we go. So, can you be somewhere else? So, I was a little surprised because everything else is resin, but this is metal. Uh, it is really good detail. However, I do not like working with metal, so that kind of sucks. Uh, I'm gonna give it a try though, because I'm pretty excited about it. Um, if you guys have any tips with metal, feel free to let me know. I've never actually done one. I own a few though. I also got a lot of paperwork. Uh, thanking me for their patience, uh, an index of what's inside, um, like a super general, like what's what as far as rules, like their terminology. Yes, this game looks very complicated. Uh, well, I'm, so just so you know, I'm more of a miniature person than a game person, so I'm mostly just going to rate the miniatures. Uh, so this is a book on the... I think this is actually really cool. It's, I'm hoping this was sort of like a, sorry it took us so long to take care of this but it's uh, just some poster-like stuff. So I think that's pretty neat. I might actually take a few of these out and put them in the wall. I really like the motorcycle. It's a lot of fun. So, this is only exclusive to people who bought the Kickstarter. Uh, there's not really anything more to it, it's just a white box. As usual, the worst way to open up boxes. I'm not getting on them, just, you know, I hate these little flaps. All right, so, this is stuff that you got only if you did the Kickstarter. It's a bunch of minis if you help them reach their stretch goals, which I think they reached almost all of them, if not all of them. Uh, this is, I guess, an additional thing that you can do, like a DLC or whatever, not DLC, whatever you call it, add-on extra. Um, another mission. These look beautiful. So I've already looked at these and they're really good quality. Uh, the artwork's really nice. I like uh, the various coloring. You know, they weren't really shying away trying to make everything black and white like a lot of companies will do. They weren't trying to cut budget there. So I really like these. Um, I think they're very high quality printed. Some random little doodads that go with it, I'm sure. Silicon gel. Here, you can hold that cap. So the actual minis themselves, um, I don't think I can, re I'll review my favorites, but let me just show you like an up close first. And so you can kind of get an idea on what they look like. So I am mixed about the minis. Uh, that's mostly what I got this for. I thought cyberpunk minis would be really cool. It'd be a lot of fun. However, the quality is kind of lackluster. Um, it's just, you can tell the detail was there, but they just didn't get printed right. Like, the detail didn't print properly. Here, let me try and... No? I don't think it's gonna let me. Sorry, if you know anything about trying to record miniatures, it is very tedious when you're changing depth. And I'm definitely changing depth here. So... This is the one, when I bought, I actually requested two of these and I gave them extra money so I could get two of these. Uh, I think she's called like Big Girl or something. Oh, come on, you can do it, you can do it. I believe in you. There we go, look at that. 
So I think she's super adorable. It's like a girl in a hoodie with a mask on and then big robot arms. So me and my friend Justin, we were gonna each paint one ourselves, but I only got one and that kind of sucks because I definitely asked for two and I definitely sent the money for two. And they said in their thing, if you want extra minis of a very specific one, just request it. And I did. Um, the slightly larger minis, they look, they look pretty decent, but you can basically just tell the molds. I don't know if it's because I got one of the last ones or what, but the molds are a little uh, rounded on the edges. They're not as in depth as they should be. I have a cat butthole up against my arm. Oh, you just cannot stay still, can you? You can't go anywhere else in the building. So, anyway, they're pretty nice. Uh, there's a lot of different poses, a lot of different sculpts. So that's nice, because I kind of hate it when you get like 20 of the same one and you just feel like you're doing the same thing over and over. I'll give them points for that, but I would have liked them to be a little more defined. Again, when it comes to making molds, the later in the line, the worse quality you get. Oh, I forgot to put that back in. So maybe I just got later in the line and I got kind of, you know, the lesser quality. And they are an indie company. So with the amount of money I paid, which I honestly don't remember, it was two and a half years ago. Um, for an indie company, I don't expect like, and for the amount of minis I got, cause I got a whole nother huge box. Uh, I, I don't expect like 40K detail, you know? You pay a lot more per mini. I'm pretty sure I paid like, I don't know, like 180 for this. I think it was around there for all of, for all of this. So I just I would have liked it to be a little bit better. I wish there was like a an option where you could buy like the high quality ones because what I personally care about is the minis. So the full box again very vibrantly colored. Uh, it has some of the more charismatic, unique models, and by unique I mean something you wouldn't see in other games, but you'll definitely see in this one. Uh, obviously, this game is heavily cyberpunk themed. Uh, let's get into it, shall we? Oh, it's heavy. I'll give it that. Okay. So, rule book. And this game looks complicated. So, good luck to whoever wants to go through this with me and play. It'll be an adventure. We have the secret agenda, which I assume is like an actual game, like campaign. Because I believe this game is PvP, but it's also like you can play against itself. Again, books are thick, really nice paper, uh, really well printed, very high quality. Uh, the minis. And then this, again, these tokens, really high quality print. Uh, they look really sharp, ton of tokens, which, I mean, if you're into that, so, as you can see, there's a lot of them in here. I know I'm kind of breezing through them, but they're just tokens. You can pause if you want to check for a specific one. I can keep popping them out as I pick them up. Which, I mean, they're meant to be popped out, but just letting you know if you see like, oh, they're missing one, it's because they keep falling out. Okay, I'm just going to set all that to the side for now. Underneath is... infinite of these books. Again, very vibrantly colored. Same thing as the other ones. They're just really thick cardboard for the actual gameplay. Some stands. So, you saw that. We're going to move on to the minis. That's what everybody cares about, right? What I care about. Alright. So for the minis. I actually like the Kickstarter ones more. I find them to be more dynamic. However, these look a little bit crisper, which is confusing. It makes me wonder if they were printed at different times. Uh, maybe it's just because they're bigger. I'm not really sure. So, first up, I'll try and get a good pic uh, video of all of everything. Sorry, it's all backwards on my head. So it's confusing to me. So, for the minis. Like I said, they're not terrible by any standard. Like, I, I've gotten worse minis, you know what I mean? Like, they're not, they're not bad, bad. But as a painter, I was really hoping for something a little more. 
Again, the amount of money I paid for all these minis, like, I'm not gonna rip on them. And being an indie company, I also wanna say good on them. Like, that's gotta be kind of ambitious to, you know, start your own company, do your own thing and stuff like that. Like, you know, I work for somebody else. I don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. But I've always admired people who are willing to take that risk. Come on. Sorry, I'm trying to focus it. I hope you guys like arm hair. There you go. So there is a lot. I'm just gonna pan through so you can see them all. Now, for this one, I will say, a lot of duplicates. Uh, probably will be painting all these with a gun so they're all identical, and then hand painting the, the more unique ones. Also, I wanted to point this out. I thought this was really odd. <laughs> so when I first checked this out, this is, can only go on like this, because there's these little notches. I don't know why. It looks like something you could just put on in any direction, but because of these notches, it can only go on exactly that way. Like if you rotate it in any direction at all, it will not connect. So just kind of a unique situation. So this is uh, human interface, also called Hint. Um, props to them for trying this, for pushing out. Uh, I'm excited to get into these. The mold lines on the minis, uh, there's certainly some cleanup that needs to be done. They are all pre-assembled though, so I don't have to like worry about big gaps in joints and things like that like I do with the Modifius Fallout line. I, I would like them to be a little bit sharper, but uh, also I think that's a challenge on me as a modeler to be able to clean up some of the hollow edges. So it'll be a learning experience for sure. Uh, I know I haven't made a video in well over a year. Uh, I apologize for that. I kind of destroyed my life. Um, <laughs> but everything's on the up and up, trying to get stuff fixed, trying to get back to being social. Um, I get a lot of anxiety doing videos. It's kind of weird. Uh, just talking to myself and if people even care and I know they're kind of low budget, I don't do any editing or things like that. But at the same time, I really like to share the hobby with you. So thank you guys very much and uh, I'll try and upload more often. And also try to find the stop button.